Firstly, Darren, you asked for a response from your players and they really gave you one in that second half performance against Harrogate. Just how pleased are you with that? Yeah, I think that that to me was the real positive, that the performance was was good and you know there was a, there was an intensity and a energy about us in the second half that was that was really pleasing um you know and and this is why I I constantly want to back this group of players because you know we train well and you know there's been performances like the second half that that give us enough encouragement but that's without obviously sticking our head in the sand as I've said before you know the the, the glaringly obvious of the the two poor goals that we've conceded, but enough positives to take from it, and continue with the belief that you know we're gonna we're gonna turn this round. Looking at sort of the overall performance, we dominated chances, corners, possessions, stuff like that. Now it's just about turning that into goal scored now, really, isn't it? Listen, there's 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 many ways to look at statistics. Um, there is plenty of statistics that are heavily in our favour in, in every game um, and that was evident again the other night but the, the, the one that matters is obviously the goal scored and that is we need to improve that and obviously goals conceded that, that it goes without saying unfortunately there's one or two stats that are heavily against us i.e. goals conceded from set pieces and, and early goals that put us on the back foot Um but there are stats that are, that would give you encouragement that if you continued in that vein, then results will start to turn. So it's, it's listen, I'm a positive person anyway. Um, and I believe that we're going to turn it around sooner rather than later. But I'm also realistic as well to know that if we keep making these very basic errors and we're not we don't become more dominant in both boxes, then it's going to be difficult to turn it round. But um, I'm positive and I'm optimistic that sooner rather than later, this group are going to get themselves on a, on a run of games and everything will click into place. We've already proved at the start of the season that we're a good team. Um, we've just had an awful run of games where we've let ourselves down. But it's only a matter of time before we turn it round. We're back on home soil after two pretty long away trips you must sort of welcome that and hope that that can work in our favour yeah I mean it'll be nice to be back home in front of our own crowd um, what I hope is they can support us and help us get the result and we can give them a performance and a result that encourages them to help us so it's a team effort from all of us we've all got a role to play I certainly know our role and the players know their role so and we've got to lead it. So if we if we perform right and we're aggressive in how we play and we're on the front foot and we move the ball around with a real energy and intensity like we're capable of doing, then there's absolutely no doubt in my mind the fans will get behind the cause and, and we'll hope to uh, win the match. We welcome Chorley team who are obviously in a precarious position <coughs> in the league but I know their manager's come out and said he's, sort of, he's never been in this position as a player or a manager. So he'll certainly <coughs> have his team ready for a fight this weekend. It's not Listen, a really easy task. When whether you play top or bottom in this le- in this league, you know th- there's not a great deal between the sides. Um, I don't anticipate anything other than a very difficult game. You know th- the fact they sit where they sit may make them try that tiny bit harder because they they're trying to turn their season round as well. So there's, uh, we haven't even discussed their position in the league. It's it's irrelevant. It will be a very difficult match that we need to be on our game and fully focused and play as much of the game, 90, 95 minutes of it, how we approach the second half on Tuesday night and I'll be confident that we'll come out on the right side of the result.